today I would like to do some baking with you. During this lockdown, this is something that I've been having a go at to keep myself busy. So today we could make the old school tray bake with the sprinkles on the top that the ladies in the kitchen make for us back at Sledmere. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to preheat the oven so that when our cake is ready, we can just put it straight in. Now at home, I've got an electric oven, so I've preheated my oven to 160 degrees Celsius. If your parents at home have got a gas oven, they recommend that you preheat that oven on a gas mark three. Right, first thing that we need to get is our baking tray. This is just a small baking tray, which I have lined with some grease before I then cover with greaseproof paper to stop our cake from sticking. Once we've done that, we can put that to the side so that we can get on with our mixture. So, now for making our mixture. First of all, we need some butter or margarine is absolutely fine and we need some caster sugar and what we're going to do is we're going to measure these ingredients out and then we're going to use a method called creaming them together so we need of margarine so make sure that your weighing scales are on zero now I'm using digital weighing scales if you're using different weighing scales at home then that's fine just make sure that before you put any ingredients into your bowl that they are on zero so I'm going to try and get 200 grams exactly of margarine Now that's 216, so I'm just going to take a little bit away. Oh, 197. Yeah. This may take a few attempts to make sure, but we've got to make sure that we are accurate, perfect. Right, 200 grams of butter or margarine going into my mixing bowl. Next, we're going to weigh out the caster sugar, which we need 175 grams of caster sugar. So we're going to make sure we've got 175 grams. That's a lot of sugar. Perfect. And then I'm going to add that to my mixing bowl. Now you should have 200 grams of butter or margarine, 175 grams of caster sugar. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the back of the wooden spoon against the side of the bowl and cream it together. What we want to do is we want to get rid of all of that sugar. So we're going to cream it together you should start to see the butter and margarine is nice and soft and we just keep using the back of our spoon against the side of the bowl can you see it's going nice and soft until all of that sugar is gone and mixed together with our butter and margarine and you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Next ingredient we need is three medium eggs. Now if you've got large eggs then that's absolutely fine but three medium or large eggs. And first of all I'm going to break them into a separate bowl just to double check that there's no shell. So I'm going to tap them on the side of the bowl 
and when they crack, open them up. Get rid of the shell. Same again. Lovely. Last time. Perfect. Now, if like me, you've managed to get a tiny bit of shell in there, all I'm going to do is just get a little teaspoon and just take that shell out and get rid of it. We don't want that bit, but we do want the other bits. So, what I'm going to do is just beat those eggs together. Now, if we're beating the eggs together, we want it so we can't see the yolk and the white are separate. We want it all together so it's a nice orangey yellow colour. Might take a couple of minutes, but that is absolutely fine. Perfect. Right, now I'm going to add the eggs to the butter and sugar that we creamed a couple of moments ago. Now I'm not going to add it all at once, I'm going to add a little bit each time and then stir it in. So I'm going to put a little bit in, plenty, and then make sure, give it a good stir. Now this will make your mixture go a little bit sloppy, so it won't be the stiff mixture that we had a couple of moments ago. This will be a little bit sloppy. Make sure it's all whisked in. And then I'm going to add a little bit more. Give that a good mix. And finally, a last little bit. Make sure it's all in there. Perfect. Put that bowl out of the way. And it should end up so that it's a ruddy mixture that we've got. Brilliant. Next ingredient we need is self-raising flour. Now it's really important that it's self-raising flour to help our cake to rise and we need 200 grams of this so the same amount that we use for the butter and the margarine 200 grams again check that your scales are on zero before you start measuring so let's see we can get 200 grams 150 187 Perfect, 200 grams. Now, like we did with the eggs, we're going to add a little bit each time and give it a good mix. So, I'm going to add a little bit, give it a good mix. Don't do this too fast because we don't want flour all over ourselves or all over the kitchen. So you know you need to do this nice and gently, hold the bowl still and make sure that all that flour is mixed in. This will start to thicken the mixture up again. So that runny, really runny mixture that we had will start to get a little bit thicker. Again, once you've stirred it all in, add a little bit more. Around the outside. Oh, see that little bit of flour escape? So I'm doing it a little bit too quickly. going. This is where you need muscles in your arms to make sure it's all mixed in properly. And then the last little bit. Let's get that all mixed in. as well don't leave any on the side of the bowl and now you should end up with a slightly thicker 
mixture with all the flour mixed in so it should look something like mine i'm sure that you'll do a much better job great right now we've got our mixture it's time to put it in the oven to bake now bring back the tray with the greaseproof paper that we had earlier on so make sure that that greaseproof paper is pushed into the corners and all i'm going to do is put my mixture into there make sure you get it from all off the side of the bowl don't want to waste any all in right now once it's in to your baking tray like that all we're going to do is we're going to spread it out so we want a nice even layer of mixture so that it bakes nice and evenly so push it into all of the corners make sure you can get it as smooth as you can great stuff right so put your spoon in there should look something like this Oops. something like this okay now remember we preheated the oven earlier we're now going to put this into the oven and we can leave it then for 25 to 35 minutes you will know that your cake is ready when it goes a golden brown color and you will see that it's risen ever so slightly so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to put my cake into the oven so there's my cake in the oven while i'm waiting for my cake to bake i'm now going to wash up my mixing bowl, my spoon, and make sure that the area I was working in is nice and clean. So let's get all that washing up done before our cake is ready to take out of the oven. Okay, so now our cake is cooked, I've taken it out of the oven and I've left it on the side so that it's cool before we put the icing on the top. So make sure that your cake is cool, otherwise the icing will just run and fall down the sides so to make the icing we're just going to use icing sugar into the bowl and then we are going to add a little bit of cold water each time we don't want to add too much because it'll become too runny so we're going to just add a little bit and mix it all in together you want to get rid of the icing and sugar. You want nice, thick icing so that it doesn't go running down the sides. And make sure it's all mixed in. Okay, so once we've got our icing and it's all mixed in and it's a nice, thick, consistency we're then going to spread it onto the cake we want it as even as we possibly can it's a good idea not to put it too close to the edges because what will happen is it will just run down the side so keep it as central as you can and then when it's setting it will automatically push itself to the side so nice and even spread across the top get it all out of the bowl and it should look something like that now we can then add some coloured strands onto the top sprinkle them around many or as few as you like and there we have our old school sprinkle dinner time cake now i really hope you've enjoyed making that as much as i have stay safe see you soon